So rocking on with the uh, the pulley project. <clears throat> good news and bad news. Good news, you know, I've got a pretty good collection of these little tapers. This is a, a, a number two Morse of my tailstock. Um, and uh, I came across a bunch of these at a flea market once and just bought a whole box of them. And I, I make up pretty well. I usually have what I need. Um, this is supposed to be five eighths when I'm done. I went digging through my buddy Zach's pile and I was like, five eighths, yay! I found one, a reamer that is. Um, I wasn't even paying attention to the stupid shank. I'm like, I have nothing that fits that. There's no, you know, I mean, not even on the mill yet. Uh, so that was kind of dumb. I'm, I'm without a reamer at the moment to come up to five eighths. The closest. Even though I have a pretty good collection of these, I don't have, you know, a complete collection of these. And the closest I get to, I have an actual 5 8 one, which, but I'm not going to use that. Uh, I do have a 37 64 one, which, uh, you know, 5 8 is 40 64 so this is 3 64 soft. That's as close as I get. Um, one and a half, 30 seconds. <clears throat> I'm going to keep going, I'm going to get it at least board out this size and then I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna try I've got some boring bars and I might have one that I can fit in here that'll make it through this this is a uh, finished uh, width here is gonna be two inches uh, I left it it's, it's a bit thick right now but still it's, it's a little over two inches uh, that I gotta get through somehow or another with a 5 8 uh, ultimate size. So, anyway. Here we go with that part of it. Six buttons. Bits came to me pretty sharp, so I haven't even had to try my hand to sharpen it yet. I'm kind of afraid to. So these things, uh, you know, a bunch of them that I got were a number one taper and then I got an adapter. Um, and a bunch of them were actually number two taper. Uh, he had <clears throat> two bucks a piece on him and I just bought a whole box of them. I offered him, I said, you know, 15 bucks for all of them or something and he took it. So I'm very happy with that. <clears throat> So like here's one that actually has a number two. 
This is kind of neat. It's got it. Uh, it has a straight shank, so you can put it into uh, a regular Jacob's chuck, or it has the number two taper on it. It's pretty uh, clever. Alright, so at this point I'm really, really close to my 5 8 finish, um, but uh, you know, I honestly don't know whether you could put a reamer, even if I had the, the appropriate you know, holder for this or if this had the appropriate shank on it, I don't know if that's close enough to go in reaming. You know, it's, it's off by 3 64ths. I think you want something you want to hold a lot closer before you put a reamer in it anyway. So um, <clears throat> either way, I'm, I'm I'm just not quite there with the tooling I own to do what I really want to do at this moment. So I'm going to try to mess around with some uh, boring bars. Is that not always the thing? It always seems like every job I gotta buy another tool. I hear something kind of interesting. To me. Um, so the drill bit I used to make the, uh, the hole that I've got running through the center of this uh, pulley to be was 37 64 which should work out to you know 578-ish. <clears throat> Using my available measuring tools to the best of my ability, I'm coming up with like 586, 588. So that's, that's kind of an indication of how far off when you use a drill versus a reamer you wind up um, that is a good ten thousandths off and of course I'm trying to get to point sixty five <clears throat> these are my boring bars this one is the only one that I have that is long enough to actually go through the two inch piece and it barely fits in there now but I think it's what I'm gonna have to use so this is gonna be a real uh, little adventure for me I'm not a you know I hate to get this far and screw this up but whatever here we go all right, so I'm not really super confident about this setup. <clears throat> In order to get the clearance for the bottom of my bar here, I had to raise this way up to where this point is well above center line. Now, center line within here, I mean, what you're basically messing with is the angle of attack here uh, for this uh, carbide cutter. Um, you're bringing it down into uh, I guess a negative <clears throat> I'm not sure how that's gonna work um, I mean I do have it'll make it in I can run it all the way through 
I'm not sure if this is real good practice or not, but it's what I got. So I'm going to give it a try. Let's see what happens. touching. <clears throat> I didn't expect that. Right, so I'm going to actually run the feet on the way out. Make sure. It's cutting, but it's cutting completely. I'll speed this up here, but when I'm done with this, I'll uh, go ahead and measure it and see what I got. Whoa, that's bad. Bad, 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 bad. Alrighty. Time to figure out what's going on. Okay, we're through. Looks pretty smooth. So now we are at five. Ten, five, six, ten, six, nine, eight, five, ninety three. Five ninety three. So we'll experiment here to see how well the direct read here works. Let's try taking off ten thousandths and see what happens if I actually do lose ten thousandths that way. Uh, the backlash is a factor here. Alright, if I did that right that'll be ten thousandths. It looks... yep, I think that's reasonable. <coughs> See how it goes. exciting.
So if the direct read worked right, we should be at 6.03 right now. Good Lord, I'm at 6.03. Wow. Okay. I'm feeling kind of studly. And so we're at 15 on the dial. Punch it up so almost finish. So here's my little test piece, and I can get that in there, and I can start pushing it in. It's tight, gets tighter, but I think that uh, as close as I want to get right now, and that later on I can figure a way, <clears throat> if I need to, if this doesn't fit the shaft on the motor, I think I can figure a way to hold that reamer well enough to, to ream that hole out. Um, I'm ready to move on to other operations, such as making myself a mandrel. Actually, what I'll do is I'll face this down now to the exact width I need it to be. By flipping it over, I trust this side now more than I trust that side. <clears throat> 